Hello uh, again from Rahbar TV. It is uh, my pleasure actually to uh, welcome all of you. Today we have a very important topic about the uh, greatness of God or uh, Allah Almighty. And um, obviously everything what Allah has produced around us, created around us is uh, unbelievably uh, beautiful and it has a lot of depth. But today we're going to talk about uh, something which is uh, very fascinating, which is uh, the universe or the skies. I'm sure you all looked around the world and the sky, uh, especially at night, uh, in particular these days when there is the ozone layer is actually better. Due to coronavirus, we have uh, more clearer skies. There is less fumes and density. And if you look at the uh, if you gaze upon the sky, you will see the stars and uh, it's unbelievable that how big is the universe. Uh, many times you look at this and say, wow, this is just incredible. But the fascinating thing is whatever we see is only 5% of the um, universe. Just to give you an example, how big is the universe if we compare with our own Earth? It's actually minuscule. It's like a little uh, speckle of sand in a vast desert. Uh, and you can go there. There is a lot of sand there. And compared uh, with the universe, the Earth is like a, maybe even smaller than the speckle of a sand. And on, on that speckle, we have 7 billion people at this moment living and thriving. So... If you really want to look at the vastness of the universe, uh, there is a latest Hubble uh, telescope have uh, some beautiful images of the universe. And the amazing thing is whatever the human eye can see is only 5% of the universe. As you can see, human eyes has certain limitation. We can only see with visible lights compared with many other creations of God Almighty. Uh, for example, the birds can see the magnetic fields. Snakes can see the image through infrared rays. So compared with that, what we see is only 5% of the universe. And even in that universe, according to a lot of information, we have more than 120 billion galaxies. And each galaxy has billions and billions of stars. So from that perspective, uh, you can imagine the creation of Almighty is just incredible. It's very, very big. So if we look at the Big Bang Theory, from that day onward, the universe is expanding. And the Quran, actually, the holy book of Muslims have talked about this in multiple places, that Allah Almighty created this universe. is not only the creator, actually is a creator, the owner, the organizer, the provider, the master, planner, and a sustainer, and cherisher, and giver of security. Because if you, the security, the last word is even more important. Uh, as everybody knows that the earth is surrounded by atmosphere. If anything, any junk of the space tries to come to the earth, it gets burned with just, with uh, actually friction. And when it comes down, so you, might have heard in old days we have all those fear of sky labs coming to the earth and striking the earth and killing many people but it turns out as soon as anything enters the atmosphere it gets burned uh, with the friction and uh, due to the sheer velocity and the effect of gravity and so many other factors so if you if you think uh, from the big bang theory onward the universe is expanding and this has actually been uh, manifested in uh, our holy book uh, in, in, in multiple places. And um, in the Surah Zariyas, for example, which is Surah 51, Ayah 47, the Allah Almighty mentioned that He, he has created the heaven uh, with might. And indeed, we are the expanders. And this is, uh, this is actually is proven now that from the day of the Big Bang, the universe actually has been expanding not only uh, the, the different galaxies, but the distance from the Earth to the different stars and among the galaxies itself, it has been expanding at a major, major way. Uh, and then 
the amazing part of this is that it's happened just with the, with the one single instance and the, the way as in surah yasin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, talks about this surah yasin is um, uh, surah 36 and ayah 82 that allah says whenever he intends to create something you just have to say be that means kun fayakun just be and it happens and in surah tambiya uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about um, that um, they will not they the, the many people will not believe that this thing has been created but the fact is that now with the advent of science and technology we can say that uh, this was truly a historic event the event which happened almost 10 to 15 billion years ago and at that moment uh, the the whole universe was created from something which was single entity and then it was separated as in Surah uh, Ambiya, uh, Ayah 30, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the earth and the heavens were together. Then Allah separated them with a sheer force and that actually created the whole universe. So I hope uh, the, uh, the information is useful, but I want you to look at this in more details. We have just discovered only 5% of the universe. 27% of the universe is, according to the many scientists, is called as dark matter. The matter which our eyes cannot see, uh, but it is there. And also the remaining 68% is a dark energy. So there are a lot of uh, mysteries of the universe which you have no clue. Still, we are struggling to understand this. And I hope uh, as the science discovers more and more ways to look into the universe apart from Hubble telescope we should have a more learning we should have more understanding and this is actually improve this should improve our belief in the one creator the almighty who has created all of this thank you for your attention thank you